Hey guys, so Mary Zarnecki here. If this is the first video training you are watching for me, welcome. Wanted to introduce myself. I have been spending, oh, about half my life in marketing. I've spent 20 years in corporate marketing with big brands like Johnson & Johnson and WebMD. And now I'm focused on helping side hustle rock stars and entrepreneurs build their business online, maybe transition an offline business to online or grow a passion-based business that actually provides them with fulfillment. So one of the questions I've been getting a lot recently, namely because these people have been finding success with the my lead magnet I actually put out, uh, which was all about how to create a converting profitable lead magnet. They have started to get people on their list. So now what, right? So they've followed my direction. They've actually gotten some good targeted people onto their email list, but how do you move them from free offer to paid sale, right? That's a big question. So wanted to share with you guys just a couple quick things that you can actually apply in your business if that is the situation that you're in. So if you are using a lead magnet or opt-in that is converting, you're getting cool uh, people on your list, the people that you wanna serve or work with, right? So what do you do? you need to create what's either called a value ladder or a customer journey or a free to pay journey, lots of terms for it, right? But essentially you wanna think before you start creating any content or freaking out about technology, think about the journey that you want your audience to take, right? So hopefully you're strategic about whatever that offer is that you put in the lead magnet, right? You broke off a little piece of your big solution to get them a quick win, right? That first quick step so that they'd actually think to themselves, holy, wow, they, like this worked. Like I wanna work with them even more. Um, so you broke it off, you got them a quick win. Now what, right? So once they've consumed this free offer of yours, hopefully they've gotten some success, right? So they're excited, they wanna learn more. They're like, oh gosh, if that was the free stuff and it got me this, what could the paid stuff get? right? That's the mindset you want to think about. So as the entrepreneur, as the side hustle rock star, you want to sit down and actually be a little geeky and think about what path do you want them to follow next, right? So they've taken this first step. They've gotten some sort of quick win. With your clients or customers, what's the next thing they're going to need to do? So when you think about the clients that you work with in your full-on program, what's the next thing that they're going to need to do on that free-to-pay journey, on that kind of customer life cycle? And you can either then offer that up to them in one of two ways. So number one, if you don't have a low ticket offer, if you just have basically your freebie and like the high ticket thing you really want them to buy into, you can offer them another little quick win, right? Everyone loves gifts, right? Who doesn't love gifts? And the cool thing about psychology is if you offer people gifts, maybe free gifts, they feel indebted to you even if it's a free thing, right? So there's this slight kind of uh, law of reciprocity, basically. So if you don't have a low ticket or kind of in that middle of that ladder offer ready to go, don't worry about it. Just break off another little piece, that next step that will get them uh, just even more success in your experience, right? So give that to them as a free gift. Give it to them in an email autoresponder. Uh, do it in a Facebook Live. Do it in an Instagram Live. Put out a free training that they, you know, record a 10 minute video that they can then go consume um, and get that next little piece of success, right? So what you're doing essentially is you're upping and moving them through that know, like, and trust factor, right? Because people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So you are moving them through that journey, right? So they know about you, right? They've somehow found you, they downloaded your opt-in so they know about you, you're now trying to get them to like you and trust you by getting them results, right? So now if you actually have what's called a tripwire or a low ticket offer somewhere between $7 and $47, offer that because it's a small investment and if they got a result from that free investment, right, or essentially free because they, they consider their contact information as the value exchange there, but it's a small investment and it's almost kind of like a test to see, okay, well, uh, I may think I like this restaurant, but I'm not gonna go for like the super expensive dinner. Uh, maybe I'll just go if they have like a special lunchtime offer or something like that. Think about it that way. It's they're they're kind of trial running you, right? It's a it's a test run. So those are a great way to offer them either through an email responder series, or if you're able to kind of get in touch with them in a different way, if you're retargeting through Facebook ads, however you're doing it, put that offer back in front of them, and don't just put it in once. Give them a couple, you know, bites at that apple uh, because people get busy, right? It may not be intentional that they're turning you down. 
So second offer, maybe it's a tripwire, maybe it's a little bit of a paid thing, might help you pay for ads if you're using uh, ads or paid traffic to get them to this kind of sales funnel or customer journey. And then how do you get them from that to your ultimate sale, right? The larger ticket that you want them to buy to work with you, right? You need to follow up. It's all about the nurture. And especially for you guys who are um, the folks that I serve that are the higher ticket offers, right? So you're not trying to sell like a thousand of them or 5,000 of these high ticket offers, right? You just need a handful, right? You know, you need a, a few highly targeted people. So use what is called the digital body language for the the interactions that they've shown you, right? So what emails did you send them that they had high open rates on? What downloads worked the best? What uh, video topics did people watch the most or comment on the most? What questions are you getting from people that actually consumed all those little pieces of content? Um, use all of that for two things. One, to craft the offer, right? So to craft the actual solution. So maybe this high ticket solution could be even better based on those insights that you're getting from those people, that feedback, because they're your ideal audience, right? And number two, use the jargon that you're hearing them use when either they're replying to your emails or commenting on your videos or um, using the stuff that you're giving them either through the quick uh, free wins or your tripwire offers and use that in then the emails or the Facebook ads or the posts or whatever it is, the tool that you're using to offer up your larger uh, solution. Because the more that they can feel like, oh my gosh, she's in my head. She's speaking my language. How did she know? Like, should she have my office bugged or something like that? You want them to feel like that. And the more that you can tap into that di digital body language, pay attention to the words that they use, those pain points that they're bringing up, use that to your advantage because that's what's going to set you apart from all the other people that are in your space, all the other experts in your niche. Um, and it's going to make you seem super different. So hopefully that uh, helped you guys out taking the next step in your journey. Um, if you want to learn more, definitely feel free to send me a message. Uh, if you have questions about anything I covered today, I'm happy to answer specific questions or challenges that you may have in your particular business. So just send me a message and I will chat with you soon. Cheers.